Wednesday. Where the sounds are smooth and the hair is smoother. Well, did you enjoy that? Good morning, church family. Welcome to Word Wednesday. It's just Nate today. Well, Nate and Maggie. Candace is still sleeping, but uh, it's okay because tomorrow's her birthday. So everyone gets to wish her happy birthday tomorrow. And she gets to sleep in today. So we are going to be diving into the book of Psalms. Because, uh, you know, David wrote a lot of songs, which kind of translates to Psalms in some ways. The reason I'm playing this little ditty because it's the first guitar lick that my dad taught to me. This would have been back, I don't know, 1997-ish, 98? He bought a Yamaha guitar in Costa Rica with a little yellow crate amp. And he started teaching me basic chords, like the G chord, the D chord, the C chord. And then he also taught me this cool little jazz lick. I've remembered it my whole life. It was the first little jazz lick he taught me. It's got a nice sweet sound. And the reason I'm playing that for you today is because it ties in with what we're going to be reading about. So why don't you turn your Bibles and lead to Psalms 145, and it's just verses 2 through 4. Good morning, by the way. It's great to see you guys. So as you go, if you've got your Bibles open with me, here we go. It says, I will praise you every day. Yes, I will praise you forever. Great is the Lord. He is most worthy of praise. No one can measure his greatness. This is the key verse here. Let each generation tell its children of your mighty acts. Let them proclaim your power. Isn't that great? Well, first of all, let's just start. I will praise you every day. Lord, we praise you today, God. Thank you for today. Thank you for the breath in our lungs. Thank you for the life that we get to live and honor you and praise you and worship you, God. It says right here in our five by footnotes with this first verse, it says, we should never let a day pass without praising and thanking God for his blessings and gifts to us. He is our maker, redeemer, and provider. In other words, we owe him our lives because number one, he created us. Number two, he paid the highest price to buy back or redeem our lives and set us free from sin. And number three, he continues to generously provide everything we need. All of this is more than enough reason to be eternally grateful to God and to honor him with our lives. So that's, I mean, you can't start the day any better than that. Thank you for creating us. Thank you for redeeming us. And thank you for providing for us. That'd be just a great starting prayer every day for you guys. But as we move on through this, it says, Great is the Lord. He is worthy of praise. No one can measure his greatness. And right here, let each generation tell its children of your mighty acts. Well, as great as it was to learn this lick from my dad. I love the lick. But what was even greater is that he showed me the love of God at an early age and has continued to show me God's grace and goodness in my life since I accepted Jesus into my heart as a young boy. So that's the greatest gift a parent can give a child, and that's the greatest gift even anyone who has influence over anyone can give to anyone. The love of God is the greatest gift we can pass on or we can pay forward to someone else because that's the life-changing goods right there. That, that transforms everything in your life. So as we learn new things... And as we get older, we're going to want to depart or instill wisdom and, and what we've learned and our experience onto our children and grandchildren, onto our friends and our family members. And just like my dad taught me this lick, and he taught me the love of Jesus, I hope to one day share this with my children or my nieces and nephews or, my, or whoever I give guitar lessons to on Wednesday nights. Talking to you, Dylan, Scooter, Epi, James, you know, I hope that I impart not just the tools and skills to, to know something, but real, true knowledge. 
real true knowledge that God is love, God exists, God created us, he redeemed us, he sent his son to die on the cross for us, and of course he's going to provide for his children. So that's why I just tidbit today, Psalms 145, 2 through 4. I'm going to read it one more time because it's just, it kind of gets me fired up. I will praise you every day. Yes, I will praise you forever. Great is the Lord. He is most worthy of praise. No one can measure his greatness. Let each generation tell its children of your mighty acts. Let them proclaim your power. Amen. So parents, if you're out there, the best gift you can give your children is the gift of a relationship with Jesus. And then, secondly, it's cool guitar licks. I just thought that was a really cool thing to share with you guys this morning. I hope you guys all have a great day. I'm going to pray over this verse. I'm going to pray over this and over your lives. And then uh, we're going to get on with our awesome Word Wednesday. This is our midweek pick-me-up. I have lulled my dogs to sleep. It happens. In fact, I have the gift of serenade. I know it's weird to say, but if I play this guitar for more than 10, 20 minutes and you're in a comfortable state, you will fall asleep. It's just a gift to have. Awesome. Well, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We praise you every single day, God. Lord, we will praise you forever. And we can't wait to spend eternity with you forever. Thank you for creating us. Thank you for redeeming us. Thank you for sending your son to die on the cross to take the penalty away from us of sin. And Lord, thank you for continuing to watch over us and provide for us. Lord, it gets so easy to sometimes lose sight of that and to get distracted with our own lives and our own circumstances. So Lord, we just ask that you continually reveal, reveal our, yourselves to us to send your Holy Spirit into our lives, to guide us and direct us. And Lord, we just continually praise you and, and we worship you, God, because you are great and you are forever great. So we love you and we thank you for all that we have and all that we're gonna have in the future, Lord. We just, we just love you and we praise you today. In your name we pray, amen. All right. Well, I could probably play a little longer, but I'm afraid some of you would miss work because you'd fall asleep. <laughs> Let's see who's on. All right. Well, good morning, Alfredo. Good morning, Ivy. Let's get a little picture of the sleepy puppies. Hi, Maggie. Oh, I didn't mean to wake you guys. Shoot. Anyways, big stretches. Two big stretches. <laughs> Whoa, that's a full-on body stretch right there. Good morning, Ivy. Good morning, Sylvia. Good morning, Mary and Joe. Good morning, Karen. Happy birthday to Candace tomorrow. Amen. Good morning, Rose. <clears throat> Good morning, Dolores. Good morning, Brother Ron. Remember to tune in tomorrow for Thankful Thursdays. Good morning, Connie. Good morning, Laura Lynn. Good morning, Vera and Phyllis. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, Laura Lynn. Funny about the dogs. Yeah, they, they are funny. Amen. Good morning, Christ uh, RJ and Georgia. Good morning, Janice. You guys are all awesome. Thank you every day, every day, Monday through Friday, for joining us for Devos. Kyle and Britt and the fam were on yesterday. They're awesome. Mondays with Maria, Fridays with PT. So it's just great that we get to be a part of your lives in the morning and great that we get to share the love of God with you guys every day. So I hope you have a wonderful day. We'll catch you guys tonight. It continues our three-day prayer encounter. We actually have the sanctuaries open all day today from 9 to 6. So I encourage you guys to come, get your prayer on. And then, of course, we have our uh, Wednesday night prayer night that starts at 7. So we'll have some worship and then an awesome time of prayer and intercession. So I hope you guys can make it. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. We will see you tonight or we'll see you soon. Have a great day.